Hi guys, Robbery46 here, welcome yourselves back to Ride 2. Now today we're going to be talking about five tracks that I would like to see in the next Ride game because I don't think we're going to get any more tracks for Ride 2 but uh, if they make a Ride 3 there's some uh, tracks that I would love to see. Of course this is uh, my my personal opinion, um, obviously everyone else has got their own views and stuff so uh, if you want to comment down below what tracks you personally would like to see in uh, the next Ride game and feel free to and we can have a discussion down there but I, I'm gonna start off with number five and I'm gonna start off with Suzuka I, I've really loved that track in previous uh, MotoGP games and that uh, they obviously they haven't been there for quite a while it, it was in Taurus Trophy it's, it's been in uh, F1 and stuff like that so um, it, it's been in quite a few games but um, I've always really enjoyed Suzuka it's uh, a track that I prefer a lot more to Mategi um, I think that if they do put it in, in Ride 3, then uh, if they do make a Ride 3 of course, then uh, they could do like the Suzuka 8 hour, I think that would be quite a decent uh, endurance race that they could do. Because um, obviously there is endurance racing in Ride and Ride 2, but it only tends to be like 8 laps. But um, yeah, they, they could do Suzuka 8 hours, which I think would be really cool. Uh, the track as a whole is, is a pretty decent track. Um, Obviously, a lot of racing doesn't go there due to safety issues, um, but I think that overall it's a pretty decent track, and uh, that's definitely uh, one track that I would like to see in the next ride game. The next one is going to be Brands Hatch, uh, the full GP circuit. It's a really nice track. We've had it in uh, some uh, old World Superbike games. Obviously, World Superbikes don't go there anymore, unfortunately. Uh, British Superbikes do. It always makes some, for some really good racing to watch. It's an awesome track. And I think that that on uh, the next ride game would be really awesome. Uh, I think that we could get some really decent racing around there as well. Uh, online and offline. Um, it would definitely be something that I would love to do a league race around there. Um, but yeah, I think overall it's a really decent track. It always produces close racing. So I think that is definitely one that should definitely be put in the next ride game. The next track, number three, is going to be the full Le Mans circuit. And I'm not talking about the GP circuit. I'm talking about the uh, circuit they use for the Le Mans 24 hours. The full endurance track. That would make for some interesting racing. They could use it, of course, in the endurance category and in, in World Tour. Playing it online would be awesome. And uh, maybe not do the full 24-hour endurance race because I don't think anyone's got time to actually sit down and play a game for 24 hours straight. That would be pretty crazy. I know that in uh, games like Gran Turismo you can pause and uh, kind of save your progress and come back to it later. So if they if they done it that way, that would be all right. But it'd take fucking forever to actually do one race. But maybe they could do kind of some kind of endurance race, but not have it so long, because I don't think anyone's gonna want to do 24 hours straight doing one race. But it's a really decent circuit. I know it's more of a a car circuit than a bike circuit, but I think with the really long straights and the chicanes and everything, it could make some really good racing. It'd obviously be a very fast circuit, but um, yeah, it is, that's another track I'd like to see in the next ride game. Number two is going to be Cadwell Park. I know that loads of people have been requesting this to Milestone to bring it to the to ride two. I don't think the physics in ride two would lend itself well to Cadwell Park, um, just because of the mountain section. I know that obviously when BSB go there you get some really spectacular jumps over the mountain section but going around this Road America in uh, Ride 2 and the, even the first ride going over that little jump that you get after the really tight left hander downhill the, the bike just wants, wants to do a backflip and I think that if we had Cadwell in Ride 2 going over the mountain would just make you do a complete backflip and pretty much crash every time you wouldn't be able to go over there as quick as you'd like to. So I think if they could bring that to the next ride and uh, the physics allow it, then jumping over the mountain would be a pretty decent um, thing to, to behold. 
you get some really good racing around there. Multiple bikes at the same time jumping over the mountain would be fucking awesome. Um, because you get some really decent screenshots as well. So that's uh, that's another track that uh, would would be really decent in the next ride game. The final track, which I can't really see happening, um, just because of the licensing and the fact that Milestone don't have the license for this track and probably won't get it for a few years, if that, um, is of course the Alaman TT. Of course, I, I couldn't have any other track up at number one than the Isle of Man. I know that there is a Isle of Man TT race coming out by um, game coming out next year, um, made by Kyleton and Big Ben Studios. Of course, they have the license for the track, so fingers crossed they do a decent job of that game. But it would be really decent to have that in ride because if it's just when the game comes out, the Isle of Man game, if it's just the Isle of Man track, uh, of course, we're only going to get one track in the game. I know that it's a fucking awesome track, but just to have one track in a game, if it's going to be full retail price as well, is going to be a bit disappointing. Um, I know that everyone wants a, a decent digital version of the Isle of Man, but if it was just the Isle of Man, purely by itself with just a few selection of bikes that you could use I think that it wouldn't be worth the money but if it was in something like Ride where of course there's loads of other tracks that you can race there's going to be a huge amount of bikes that you can race around each track as well I think that that would be a really good idea but like I said it's going to be very difficult for Milestone to actually get the license now with it being with Kyleton and Big Ben Studios with making the official Isle of Man TT game for 2017. But we can dream. It would be nice to have it in ride, but um Yeah, it would be interesting to see how like the physics and that would be around that track with them as they are in ride two. It may not be the best of tracks because things like uh Macau and um and the Dunrod circuit in Ride 2 can be quite tricky with uh, the, the physics that we got. But I think that if, if they done it properly for Ride 3, then uh, the Isle of Man TT would be a fucking awesome track. I know that Milestone are big bike fans and they would love to get the Isle of Man TT in the next game as well. So um, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. But that's, uh, that's, that's five tracks that I would like to see in the next Ride game. Like I said, guys, let me know in the comments what you think, um, what your opinions are on what tracks you would like to see in the next ride game. Uh, of course, there are loads of tracks out there. I, I kind of try to stay away from tracks that we already have in either ride or MotoGP. I should see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I should see you guys in the next video. See you.